I'm here with Coach Jason Demetrio. The boys are better than what they've shown in the first couple of weeks. What have we got to do to beat the Roosters? Yeah, I think we've shown um, some good signs in both games. Um, you know, we probably attacked pretty well in the first game and then probably didn't get our troll line defence as good as it needed to be. And I thought we addressed that in spades against Brisbane and, you know, they scored three try tries from last play kicks, but our troll line defence was back where it needs to be. And, you know, we need to get a combination of those two weeks and, and put it together for 80 minutes. And if we do that, then the result will take care of itself. That's Cameron Murray's 150th game. He's an inspiration. He leads by example. Yeah, oh, he does. You know, anyone who watches him can see that. Anyone who's in his company is in awe of how he carries himself. And I uh, just want us to go out there and represent him and, and the club um, you know, for his and Jack's debut game and Tane Mills' 50th as well. Well, you mentioned Jack there. He's a huge addition in the centres. He brings so much. He is, you know, and he's, you know, he's an origin Australian player. He's been there and done that in big games and uh, he comes back in in a big game. But uh, he, what he brings off the ball and in his leadership and his talk will be immense for us tomorrow night. And you mentioned Tane. He's looking sharp out there. He took a couple of bombs. He's fired up. He's set for a big one. He is. He's had a great pre-season, Tane. Did a good job for us last week. Um, I just love, the, you know, way Tane is not uh, overawed by anything. He goes after the contest and um, the boys love playing with him. He's a good man. Another good man, Footy Dean, gets his chance, but the forwards need to lay the platform for him. Yeah, we do, 100%, you know, and like I said, I felt last last week, you know, we showed signs of that, but, you know, with two penalties on fifth tackle for blockers, you know, we, we you know, lost a scrum feed, we, you know, kicked the ball in the back of our own player, we, we made it hard for ourselves, so we get rid of those things, we'll build some pressure on other teams and uh, we'll see the scoreboard ticking over. But Footy Dean just needs to be Footy Dean. He needs to be the player he's been in the back end of last year in, in uh, New South Wales Cup and what he's been all through the pre-season here. From the kid that was kicking the ball around on YouTube to what he is now. Yeah, he's earned the right to be there and that's why I'm really proud of Dino's journey. Tyrone Munro was running around here the other day. He's not far away? No, nah, probably two or three weeks. Um, again, another one, as the weeks go on, we, we start getting some of our outside backs back. Uh, Isaac Thompson will play reserve grade this week for the first game back this year as well. So we're starting to get some bodies back in, in the outside backs and it's going to be important for us. Well, you mentioned Isaac, so it's good to see Thomas Fletcher as well, Dion Tialpa. Yep, both yeah. back. Um, you know, Fletch got over that head knock from the uh, Charity Shield, so looking forward to seeing him play his first cup game. Uh, and Dion in progressing as well as well. I thought he had a great year last year, so looking forward to that. And just another one, Liam LeBlanc, I saw him running around, so he's nearing a return too? Yeah, he's not far off back to full training. And when he is, he'll, he'll probably have a month before he's, he's back playing. So, um, you know, there's Aaron on the side of caution there, but probably six weeks we'll see him back on the field. And I asked you about Jai Arrow last time I saw you, and he, I saw him the other day, he seems pretty positive, but not too far. Yeah, no, I think, you know, a few weeks, uh, strengthen up that shoulder that he's torn, but look, I'm pretty confident Jai will be able to play once he gets his strength back. It's multicultural round, and I know that you celebrate the rich diversity in cultures here at the club. Yeah, 100%. Um, it's what makes this club great, you know, from our Indigenous uh, friends to, you know, the, the Greeks that are littered through the club, including myself, and, um, you know, Polynesian boys, our Tongan, Samoans, Cook Islands. It's The boys do a great job at embracing that, and this week we get a chance to celebrate that, not only at our club, but in the game in general. Good luck on Friday, Jody. Thank no, you very much. Thanks, mate. Cheers, thanks, mate. Appreciate it, mate.